Vizag is an industrial city with many oil refineries, steel plants. It is a scenic port city with natural harbor. It is also the headquarters of the Eastern Naval Command. It is the place where we can see lush green hills meeting the sea, which is very rare in India. With pleasant climate throughout the year, it has clean, disciplined roads. Vizag is well connected by road, rail and air. It experiences beautiful sunrises and sunsets. It hosts many museums, schools and colleges. Visakha Museum, located opposite of Palm Beach, entry fee cost Rs. 10, open 11 am to 7 pm. It contains historical treasures, artifacts of royal family, weapons, along with models of planes, submarines, etc. It was part of Kalinga Empire during Ashokan rule. Later, it became under the rule of Pallavas, Cholas, Ganga dynasty. Finally, under the rule of Vijayanagara Empire in 15th century AD. Vizag is a district and is divided into two revenue divisions. One is Vimunipatnam or Vimli and the other is the main Visakhapatnam or Vizag. 93% population here speak Telugu. Next museum to be visited is the Submarine Museum on the model of a real submarine and just opposite to it is the Aircraft Museum. It is a generally crowded place based on the model of INS Kursura which was Soviet built submarine inducted to Indian Navy in the year 1969. After 31 years of glorious service, it was decommissioned in 2001 and was set up as a museum. It showcases the components inside a submarine and the life on a submarine. The space inside is very less. It rejuvenates a patriotic feeling. The entry fee is rupees 40 and camera charges rupees 50 extra. Next is the Aircraft Museum which is located just opposite to the Submarine Museum. It has a central museum or exhibition hall that showcases plenty of models and equipments such as survival kits, engines, propellers, missiles, sono boys used inside an aircraft. Also, it gives us a chance to enter an decommissioned aircraft that was earlier used for Indian Navy ships. It also showcases the mannequins of differently ranked officers with their respective uniforms. This is the decommissioned aircraft that was earlier used in Indian Navy. Photography is not allowed inside. Oh, these places will 
absolutely give you a patriotic feel. Just beside the aircraft museum is a Sea Harrier Museum which can be visited. The city lights or night life in the city is marvelous with vehicles moving on splendid well lit decorated roads and the side view of the gushing sea waters from the shoreline. There are mainly three cocoa arenas ranging from Palm Beach to RK Beach numbered as 3, 2, 1 as we move towards RK Beach. These are small public areas with cluster of coconut and palm trees intentionally planted on the sand of the beach just aside the road footpath. It acts like a piece of natural park for travelers and street walkers for spending quality time at evening with a view of the sea and eateries like ice creams, corns and puffed rice or jhalmuri stalls. In the morning, these arenas act like shed for the beach viewers to protect from the harsh sunlight. RK Beach or Ramkrishna Beach is the important point for the tourists or travelers with lots of hotels and food stalls. Although rice and chapati are available, but idli, dosa, sambar, vada seem to be the staple food of Andhra Pradesh. Hotel Rio Beach is a place worth staying with plenty of amenities, beautiful interior decor, but it does not have food facility, but that can be availed from outside. For the main tour attractions of Vizag, which are divided into the three volumes, click on the links in description or end screen cards at the end of the video. The hotel, car, bus, contact numbers are shared in the description. The estimated cost structure has been shown. Subscribe to the channel and stay connected for upcoming videos.